Next here on Cybos TV, we're turning our attention to Europe, where SIX operates the infrastructure for the Swiss and Spanish financial centers. So care catering to a broad international client base. Yeah, that's right. In 2024, two of the biggest IPOs worldwide took place on the stock exchanges operated by SIX. We're talking about Puj in Spain and Galderma in Switzerland. And we're very happy to be joined right now by Jos Dieselhoff, CEO of SIX. Jos, welcome. Thank you. So tell us what is SIX and tell us all about it. Yep. SIX is an international financial market infrastructure group. Uh, as you mentioned already in your intro, we run the Spanish and the Swiss stock exchange. We also have a post-trade business, we have a data business, and we have a payments business. Yeah. So we are uh, quite a diversified uh, exchange group, uh, operating in 20 different countries across the world, with Spain and Switzerland being really our home markets. Now, the company has published in summer the half-year financial results. Yep. Uh, can you share with us some of the highlights? Yeah. I think we produced uh, 790 uh, million um, Swiss francs revenue, top line. If you equalize for exchange rates, it's a 3.4% increase. Uh, so a relatively good first half of the year. I would like to see a little bit more growth, but uh, not a bad start for the year. Not bad at all. But if you want to see more growth, curious about the company's strategy. What are you working on? Yeah. So we, of course, our main focus is to make sure all our services are available to our customers at all time in any situation. So that is a primary part of our strategy to make sure we are robust and resilient. On top of that, we continuously develop new services for our existing customers. And we, of course, also are trying to grow our company by selling more uh, of our services to our existing customers. And on top of that, we invest quite heavily in innovation. Mm -hmm. uh, we have multiple innovation projects to also to make sure that we are uh, on top of the latest development in our industry and that we invest in the right things uh, for our customers. It was interesting to read about the two big IPOs that SIX had yep. this year in Spain and Switzerland. And, yep. uh, can you tell us a little bit more? Uh, first of all, we're extremely proud to have two of these big IPOs in our, in our markets. Um, and uh, what you see here is that the Spanish markets after COVID has been recovering quite strongly. There are a, quite a big, of, big pipeline of companies who are actually looking to take benefit of the Spanish market and IPOing. In this case, this was a family company, which a very strong company that decided to go public uh, onto our markets. And we're very happy about that. We also have in Spain a lot of mid-size and smaller size companies coming to the market. So it's a very broad mix. Switzerland, which is a, is a more international market and very, very high, um, highly regarded within, uh, within the industry. And there we had this beautiful IPO of Galderma, uh, which also has produced really good results after the IPO, very good um, increase of, uh, of share price and a very happy customer uh, and a very happy exchange, of course. You want to keep those customers happy, of yeah. course, also market participants. IPO is one thing, but you've also been very active in the digital space. And we've been tracking this for a while. You've launched the Six Digital Exchange, yep. just have a partnership with Asia Next. All very interesting moves. Can you tell us more? Yeah. So we decided to build the infrastructure of the future in Switzerland. Uh, we've done that, called SDX, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. uh, Six Digital Exchange. And we really invested in using blockchain to, to yeah. improve the whole value chain and to make um, uh, the business actually more attractive and more efficient for our customers, but also for ourselves. And that's what we started in 2018. We gradually built it. Uh, then we um, had um, extensive uh, conversations with the regulator to get the license. And we were the first distributed ledger technology stock exchange in the world with the license of, uh, of the regulator. We also then started uh, in Asia at Asia Next together with a Japanese financial institution, which is a joint venture. And uh, there we're more focused on crypto, whereas in Switzerland we're more, more focused on digitalizing or tokenizing existing financial assets already. Yep. Uh, Six just released the third yearly study from the Future of Finance series. Yep. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the study and, uh, and what are its highlights? Yeah. yeah, we do the study every year. It's, I'm always quite curious what the outcome is. Um, I think what you see is that in general, the, um, the, the people, 293, I think is the number that we've interviewed and that we've asked, uh, are a little bit less positive about the growth and the economical growth of the businesses that they're in. And they're also a little bit less positive how prepared they are to benefit from the growth. So you see a little bit more, um, uh, I would almost say, realism in the, in the heads of the executives that we've interviewed. Uh, but still, there are a lot of new technologies and a lot of, a lot of new capabilities possible for, uh, for, uh, for the industry to grow. So AI, blockchain, data analytics, all these 
these technologies are on the forefront of, uh, of the people that we've interviewed. And I think about 90% are very uh, confident that DLT will have an impact on our industry in the mid to long term. Uh, yep. Oh, yes, it's been great to have you. Yeah, I'm sure you're a very busy man. So we won't keep you ahead of a busy week here at Cybos Beijing 2024. Uh, that's Jos uh, Disselhoff, Chief Executive Officer at SIX. Thanks again. Thank you very much.